Wavy. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Three Sixty Quint, and I'm back with another video, man. Hey, I know it's been a couple of days since I made a video. I've just been taking care of myself, man, handling a couple of things. But I'm back. About to get this brush session in. Brush with me and try to and create some depth during my uh brush session, man. I just washed my hair. Just washed my hair last night. I'm gonna be popping some oil in it, y'all know. Be using. Y'all know it, man. So, let's get right into it, man. Like I said, I'm just about to be trying to create depth into my waves. <clears throat> I'm just about to be combing my hair and brushing it. Combing and brushing. If you don't know, if you don't know how to create depth into your waves, combing it. Combing it is the best way to lift your lift your waves off your head. So when you lay it back down, depth between your scalp and your waves and the top of your waves, that's depth. If, if you know that yeah about to comb my hair get a good brush session there and let's do that man make sure you brush them with me man make sure you brush them with me don't just be watching First thing we're gonna start off with comb. Y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Comb session. Combing is very good for your waves. Like I said, lift your hair off your scalp to create depth. When you brush it back down, your waves. That's how you can. That's why you can see people waves. Is they're defined. They're defined so well because they comb a lot. They really comb and create depth. So your waves will be deeper. And that also gives you helps you with making your making your foundation on your waves because they they imprint on your head when you create depth when you when you comb a lot when you comb a lot you can wolf longer as well you can wolf longer as well if your hair is trained with your combing and you can lay down more hair you can wolf longer what is wolfing growing your hair out training your hair so if you comb a lot and your hair is trained to just lay back down once you comb it you you can woof as long as you want, but be able to maintain it. Cause you don't want no out of control woof, nothing like that. But let's get the comb.
All right, so after you comb your hair, comb it out, lift it off your hair, now it's time to add your product and go in either with your medium brush or your soft brush. Me, I'm gonna go in with my with my medium brush today because I got a decent amount of hair on my head. It's not like a fresh cut, so I'm going with my medium brush. Then I'm going with my going with my soft brush because with your medium brush, that really gets that really gets the products down to your scalp and your soft brush lays your hair down. So might as well go medium brush and soft. So I'm gonna put the product in my hair.
All right, once you're done with that session, that medium brush session, time to move on to your soft brush. You know, I love this brush, bro. It just looks so good. It just looks so good, let it focus. Y'all see it, man. All right, let's go. Once you finish your soft brush session, the best thing in my opinion to do is use a plastic bag to lay your hair down even more. Preferably the one with the zipper so you can close your hand in and get a better better grip on it. Better control, better control with the plastic bag. If you don't know, plastic bag <coughs> is very good for laying your hair down because it's static from the from the from the bag. It's not like static that make your hair stick up it lay it down easier so definitely if you don't know you they they have the glove thing but I, it's cheaper but it's a dollar for a whole box and you don't even use them like that so Once you're done with that, time to rag up. is it for this video man if you didn't take anything from this video 
comb your hair, lift your hair off your scalp. You don't want to just keep compressing it down to your scalp, compressing it down. Comb your hair, lift your hair off your scalp, and then lay it down. That's how you create depth in your waves. That's how you create depth in your waves. Combing your hair, combing your hair. Don't not no baby, not no baby sessions with comb. I told you, 20 minutes, 20 minutes and more, 20 minutes and more with comb sessions. Just like you brushing. It's just like you brushing. It just helps more with creating deeper waves. Deeper waves, you want deep waves anyway. So why not do what needs to be done to create deeper waves? So man, hey, like I said, let's get this video to 30 likes. 30 likes, bro. That's the most I ever asked y'all. 30 likes, bro. 30 likes. Let's get this video to 30 likes. Don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram. Like this video, subscribe, and click that bell, man. Hey, we out, man. Stay blessed. Peace.